So we got a call for a vehicle that's stuck up on the barracks trail. I think it's like suction mired down in the mud. Taking the wrecker up there to get it, but before we go, we've got to fix the wrecker. People have been telling us we should have put a glue tread on this, and we agree with you. This tire's kind of opening back up. We got a boot on the inside, but we're going to do something on the outside. I haven't read any instructions, but I'm going to assume step one is to clean the area. You guys remember when this happened, we were up on Hanging Tree Trail, and I was not paying attention, and I smashed a rock. We got a hole right there and a hole right there and all the air went out so robbie come and bailed us out we got a tube in there we got a boot on the inside but we've still got a nasty gash in there lost the cap for the brake cleaner oh nice were you timing yeah i hope we did it right so now that we are on the road let's introduce you to today's crew First of all, we've got the lovely Jamie. I'm super excited to be here. It's like 80 degrees, but I'm sure we're gonna hit like 95, 98 today. We got Tom Tom back there. Hey, I'm excited to get the wrecker out again. It'll be a good day. Brett. I'm excited too. Colby. I hear this one's gonna be real muddy. It's been a while since I had a good mud job. I'm excited. We'll get them out. Let's see the, if you've got the appropriate footwear today. I do. Totally appropriate for a mud job. All right, this is where we're gonna unload. You gonna drive us in? Yeah, heck yeah. Have you told them what we're going to get? I don't know what we're going to get. Is yeah. it a Ford Explorer that got it might stuck be. in a flash flood? They all look the same to me. So are you down in the river or kind it's, of to the side of it? It's like probably three feet out of the river. Okay. So front end's almost in it. Hey, I guess we'll just head down there till we find it. From the looks of the picture that I saw, this guy's Jeep got carried away and the mud and the sill just packs in around these things. So it's good we have the wrecker with us today because I think it's going to be a tough pull to get this guy out of there. Here we are at the mouth of the canyon where there's uh, slot canyons up there that Paul calls the skinny caves. We went up there and did a hike. He made it easy. Too old for this. That was a while ago. Yeah, it's the ago. one where he kept saying, we only have like one more mile. We only have one more mile and it turned into like six miles. So I'm starting to believe Paul when he said he didn't know how far up here it was. It was a pretty big hike. We should be getting pretty close to where the customer swamped his truck. Jamie seems like she's wanting to swamp the truck. All right, just stop right here. We'll, yeah, we'll pull go the look. shade a little bit. Yeah, we'll go look at it. There you go. It's like a maze to put that into gear. Where's it at? About 250 feet down the river. Oh, all right. It's on the opposite side. Let me see if I can drive it through here. stuck this is soupy the lockers aren't working so that was a little bit of a risk that was nuts man we were straight down in there, but the banana's a beast and it just moseyed right out. That 
Stop, buddy. A little bit. Ah, there it is. So did it quit running when you were here, or do you think it's no, so broken? Like, what do you think? We got caught up there when the flat foot hit. You can see where it was. I tried to work it out a little yeah. bit, and came back out, started digging some more, and the water started rising again. So that's when I just told my wife and kids, like, let's get out, and we're just gonna hike back. So you don't know if there's been water over the top of it? Like, you don't know how deep it got? I don't know how deep it got. Okay. I don't think pulling forward on this is a very good idea. Is that about soupy or is it dried out a little bit? It's a little soupy. Nowhere near as when I got what I got in back there. Alright, so we've looked at this from every angle. And going forward doesn't make sense to me. Do we know if that runs? Just bump the, just bump it. Don't crank it. Jello. We're standing on Jello. Yes. Woo! Almost got stuck. Don't crank. Okay, it's hydro lock. All right. So, so it's completely dead. Pulling it forward would be an enormous amount of stress on the front axle of that thing, and it might do that thing where the vehicle comes out but the axle stays in. Oh. I think it's worth it to figure out how to get behind it where we can lift up and pull out. I'm gonna drive back up there and try that spot again. All right, the access to the road on this side of the river is through that spot that Colby fell in. So I'm nervous. I just don't wanna get the, the wrecker buried. The wrecker's cool and super tough and amazing, but it is not unstickable. Yeah, if we're swimming, that's bad depth for the wrecker. Wonder where they're going. I'm going up. This is interesting to me right here. So Matt's hiking back up to the wrecker. We're gonna wait for him here so he knows where to drop into the river, where it's safe and he can cross. Then we can get to the back of that vehicle and try and pull it out that way. How are you gonna get back out of here? Same way we came in, with much difficulty. Yeah, just copy what I'm doing on that side. Okay. Okay. This is no time to dance, Tom. <laughs> we know you're excited. I'm but... just having a good time over here. We're just adding a third winch in here to put pressure straight back. So we've kind of, I don't know, we're putting more power. More power, what would James say? More, more power, power baby. baby. More power, baby. I just had a bug flying in my mouth and I swallowed it. We know you're hungry, but. Yeah, no much. snack breaks, Matt. I wonder how many bugs I eat a year accidentally. All right, I hope we welded this together pretty good. We shook it after we welded it. It didn't fall off. How are them front wheels looking? Are they moving at all? No, they're starting to move. At least this front driver one is. Dragging the wrecker. You're dragging this front bumper. I can hear it gurgling under there. No, you let the air out of this tire. Wow, that wasn't good gurgling. I'll tell you what it sounds like. It's like gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Want me to straighten it out and drive? 
This mud's packing up. It looks a little firmer. Right now, I can tell by the way it's acting that that right front wheel is what's stopping us. That's why the wheel turned like that. Yeah, see if you can get in there and, and saw the wheel. We just gotta keep shaking it. We gotta keep wiggling it like it's a loose tooth. I'm gonna wiggle it and you just do everything you can to steer to the right. Okay. When he goes up and down, I can get like another quarter turn. Yeah, we're pretty dang straight right now. Okay. Okay, nice gentle pull. <laughs> You're good, it's climbing. It's good, keep going. Let out some windslide and drive forward. That's all you need now is just to pull him. He's not suctioned in at all. I wonder if we're gonna need to get it picked up to air it up or if it'll just air up. They're all really low, aren't they? It doesn't look like it's had water up to here. Yeah, I, I think it might. Starter packed up? Maybe the starter's packed up uh, with mud. I don't know. I'll try starting again and see what happens. Okay, stop. Turn, the, turn yeah, the key off. Right. That engine is locked. Nothing? <clears throat> it's locked up. Packed with mud? Yeah. It's gonna blow itself loose. We can blow it with this though. I'm gonna build up some more pressure. Right there, there's our problem. Can I put this put back together? It's not building pressure. I've got a big old leak right here. If we get this turned around and then you pick up the front end, the tire pressure won't matter. Well, I don't think we're going to pick up the front. I think we're going to flat tow it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, it's building pressure now. Okay. Okay, it's airing. Mm, something's leaking. This tire's not going to take air. Hey, that's a full thing of air. We have lockers now. <sighs> Trying to keep from getting burnt here while also completing my task. I've seen a few comments where people were kinda, I don't know, blaming Chad for some of the problems we're having with the wrecker. What you've gotta understand is I asked Chad to do six months worth of work in like three weeks, two weeks, I don't even know. Yeah, he got a ton of stuff done. So these problems are our own creation, we own these. Yeah, I, I needed it ready for the record games. And I just needed it to work just good enough. And there's so many systems that aren't done because he just didn't have enough time to do it. So don't give Chad grief. He did an amazing job on this record. And we ain't finished yet. Okay. Okay, that tire's not taking air, so that's gonna change your strategy a little bit. We're gonna have to pull it up here, grab the front of it, pick it up, and pull it out that way. We don't have any really steep downhills other than when we go into the washes. So I'll just slow down and be crazy cautious okay, on those. I'll ride the brake as we're going down. All right, we're driving this thing out. Wheels are up mostly. They'll touch the ground, so I need to steer a little. But I think we're ready to roll here. Let's put 
put the winches in neutral, so I think he's gonna climb without all this dead weight on the back, and then he can winch me up afterwards. So close. So close. Awesome. Good driving. We did it. All right, we're pointed right at the sky now. Matt's gonna drive off and we'll pop out over the top of this. When we got up that hill, the customer's grandpa was standing there uh -huh. and he said he just witnessed the impossible. Oh yeah, we do that. I mean, sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but we can do the impossible. I told him, we don't have no in us. That was the big obstacle. Looks like Matt's gonna drop right in and hit the next one. I didn't want you to squirt this worm. You got a good worm? So this worm right here, he's got a he's got a full belly of whatever he's been eating, and I bet you he's looking for a place out of the floodplain like, yeah. to go build his little cocoon. He's like a snake. Yeah. What's he turn into? A moth. They're uh, pterodactyl. Yeah. We always call them hummingbird moths because they're the size of hummingbirds. If this was in my garden, his days would be over. But he's out here in the wilderness. What are you gonna do? I'm sure glad we got it out because it's monsoon season here and there are clouds starting to pour. We could have gotten caught in a flash flood. Yeah, these are bad. Bad canyons to be in when it starts raining upstream. That would have been a really tough job to do without anything but the record. Right. I mean, well, I mean the more Vare and the banana would have been all 10 times work. longer. Yeah. The ability to pick up is huge. I learned that from Rory. I mean, it's not like it's a principle that's hard to grasp, but watching it in real life where something's stuck in the mud and being able to just, or, or frozen in the ground, and be able to just pick straight up. There she goes. We've also talked about what are we gonna do when we get to something we can't climb up with the wrecker when we've got the vehicle attached. And so we did it. Today we got to that point. We had to- Well, we're, handi we're handicapped because we don't have lockers. Right. So that made the climbs, well, okay. difficult. But you ended up disengaging the winches, letting them spool out, climbing without the vehicle attached, and then just winching the vehicle. Up. So we've never done that on a job yet, but now we know it works. Okay. What about you? You Where want a shirt? Came, there you are. There you go. Right. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think I would have been able to get it out. It would have taken a while. Yeah. We appreciate you using this. That's good right there. Because Matt's Off-Road Recovery is a true democracy, we're going to vote to see what we're doing next. Are we going to go do the belly of the dragon? To do it in its entirety with no brakes is going to take seven minutes yes yes no yes dang it <laughs> i don't care <laughs> the eyes have it we've showed you the belly of the dragon before we're going to show it to you again so you can see the light on the other end 
So we've got like, I don't know, 100 yards. It's not very long. So part of it's man-made and part of it's just erosion? Erosion, yeah. This was man-made for the highway. Well, it was man-made by dwarves. Well. <laughs> I stuck it. My family won't go unless like, there's other cool people going. I'm not cool enough anymore. All right, it is lunchtime, and we're going to Archie's to get ourselves a Fab Rats burger, and then we're going to go to Fab Rats to see how their shop's coming along. I've never had a Fab Rats burger. I can't wait. They're good. Fab Rats it is all around. Yeah, how many do we need? <laughs> Does everybody want to try a Fab Rats yeah. burger? Let's do it. Let's do it. Here are all the Fab Rats. You guys should be all set. Hey, thank you. Enjoy. Hey. All right, so another thing that we're doing here is we're testing the turnaround down here. This has always been awful to turn a trailer around, so I brought the biggest, hardest trailer to turn around, and I'm going to test it. Oh, this is looking good. Look at all this room. Look at that sight. I come down to test your turnaround. It's looking pretty good. It's getting better. It's getting way better than it was. So... Today is a Fab Rats holiday for us. Really? Yeah, we're stopping to see Fab Rats. It's officially on the calendar? Well, we're gonna put it there <laughs> on our work calendar. Yes. And we all got Fab Rats burgers. The whole crew. Mm -hmm. Even Jamie? Even Jamie. Wow. I'm done with the pleasantries. I'm ready to eat. So a Fab Rats burger is really, really amazing because it's got beef patties and other things and lettuce so it's healthy. Now, pickles also healthy. Philly cheesesteak on top of it. I don't know. It's just really good. Healthy or not, it's going in. No. Really good. All right, so these guys are scrambling to get all the wiring done because they got foam insulation coming tomorrow. So I have to give myself my own tour. So over here we see this. There's the old stuff right there. This is cool. This is cool. I want to go upstairs as soon as I figure out how to get there. Yeah. Nothing's happening over here. <laughs> That's the flavor is hot. Do you want the water? It, what number is that one? It's just a random. Oh, that's that's the good one. That doesn't even taste good. No, it's just hot. There is no taste. It's definitely hot. <laughs> <laughs> A special blend of Carolina Reaper, datil, datil, pepper, never heard of that, and the deliciously warm West Indies Scorch Bonnet. If you like hot, like I'm talking to you guys that really like hot stuff, you guys know that there's some hot that just doesn't taste good. This is like li licking the inside of an oil burner, <laughs> like a, a smudge pot. Okay, well, well, I guess that's a sign that we need to get out of here before they do something else to me. All right, we're going to head back to the shop. Rhett's got a hot date. We're in a hurry. Thanks for watching. What? Who's saying that? We almost had to leave Colby back there in the swamp.